guys, welcome back to another Learning to Draw Weekly. Uh, this week in my adventures, we're starting with my iPad because I didn't draw digitally other than in my iPad, so we're starting there. Uh, <laughs> this is my attempt at a bloody hand. Uh, I don't really like it very much. Can you, can you tell why? <laughs> um, but the hand was nice. The hand turned out alright. I was alright with that. And then I drew Tracer. I did a better version of her later. And then this is from Stevie Ray Draws studying, still studying thing. This was a first, like first draft that I did. And then this happened. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that happened. It's not terrible. I kind of really like the background actually. It's all done in watercolors, so that's fun. Um, so that was all I did in digital. Like, did I show you this squirrel <laughs> last week? Sometimes it's hard to remember what I showed you guys, but it's a squirrel. <laughs> it's a squirrel I sketched for fun, because squirrels, they're adorable. Um, I don't know if I showed you this either that last week. It's a bunch of sheeps and a pig. <laughs> I had fun. I had fun this week. All right. Um, so that's my iPad. And we're going to hop into this sketchbook. This is my on the go black sketchbook. i um, starting to have way too many sketchbooks. <laughs> I actually ordered a watercolor sketchbook that I'm really excited about. So um, eyes. <laughs> this week on my drawing adventures, I practiced eyes and uh, moved my watercolors out of the way a little bit. But um. I practiced eyes this week. <laughs> lots and lots of eyes. Uh, I was really unhappy with some of how some of my eyes were coming out, so I copied random eyes from different shows and stuff, different eye styles. It wasn't really like a direct copy, it was a style copy. Uh, this girl's pretty cute. She's uh, got some flowers in her hair. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, I can see better. Okay, um, so yeah, this is cute. This is really cool. I kind of want to do this in a bigger digital design. Why can't I get it in frame? There we go. It's like hearts, so it's a hand sewn to a heart. I really like that. And this is uh, pastels. This was done in pastels. I didn't really like the way it came out. I did another one later that it's in my other book, my other on the go book that I like better. And that's it, that's it in this on the go book okay so we're gonna do this i just did earlier today it's a watercolor robin i kind of like it <laughs> um i mixed a lot of different colors there is no gray in my windsor and newton watercolor palette so i did like a bluish gray which i really like and then i have a little blue background it's cute just wanted to draw a robin i wanted to draw a robin with a hat but it didn't turn out it didn't <laughs> it just didn't turn out to be a robin with a hat uh, where did I leave off? I don't remember where I left off last week. Did I show you guys any of this? I don't remember. <laughs> I think I left off with this. What do you guys think? Do you remember? Well, if I am re-showing this to you, I apologize. I like some of these, though. Uh, so these are just face studies. I did a ton of face studies this week. Um, this is from a photo of Wildwood. I grew up in Jersey and the shore was always an iconic place for me and I'm really missing home. So I drew a lot of um, shore stuff. This is Wildwood, the uh, sign that's there, the iconic sign with the balls, the beach balls in front of it. And there's a girl standing on top of one of them because that's how it is in the picture. Uh, this is kind of like the entrance to a secret locked garden almost, which is pretty cool. And more eyes. <laughs> would you like to see eyes? Because I have them. <laughs> I did a lot of eyes. Um, this is a fairy girl with a mushroom umbrella. This one I want to do a bigger piece of. Um, she's a fairy, but her hair is like around her shoulder. And I just, I really like that. She turned out weird. Her face is too elongated. I actually have a, a thing tape that goes over, but her hand turned out really well after I fixed it <laughs> with, with obvious correctional tape. But yeah, that turned out well. Um, these are all Overwatch po uh, portraits. That's Diva, Mercy, Symmetra, Mercy, uh, May, and Tracer. 
tracers actually came out pretty good. Um, these are just the little portraits when you click in, you see, of the heroes. Um, this is from a show called, um, what is it called? Fugu, Fugiboshi. It's, it's a really cute children's show that I used to watch when I was little about two twin princesses. They're princesses of a star called the Mysterious Star, <laughs> I think. And uh, I just drew them because they were super cute. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I was I watched the first episode again for nostalgia's sake, and I was like, oh my god, they're so cute. So that's what I did. <laughs> uh, this is from the study as well that Stevie Ray Drawn did on Sunday. I think it was last Sunday. Uh, this is just a girl. <laughs> her feet are too small. Her her legs, I think, are a little too short too. In my opinion. Um, Steve Redron is also doing a winter fawn piece. Like, thing? Collaborative? I don't know what it's called, but this is just a design for that. And then this girl, who I have no idea what- I don't know what's going on with her. Super weird! I'm drawing super weird stuff this week. I don't know what's up with that, either. <laughs> she kind of reminds me of- I think I was thinking about that- blonde girl from Spy Kids. Do you remember that movie? <laughs> or am I just showing my age? <laughs> but she reminds me of the blonde chick from Spy Kids, the little girl. Uh, this is a flower tree, sakura tree. I don't, you can't really see the sakura. Maybe you can see it better there. I really like the way this tree turned out. So it's a sakura tree, which is nice. This is pretty cool. This is underneath. She's like underneath her hair. I kind of like that with like sakuras all around here. Uh, this is my first attempt at a robin. <laughs> it did not turn out well. Um, this was my first attempt at a bus full of people. I think I'm actually turning them upside down when I do that. I gotta do it this way. <laughs> Camera, how you work? Uh, this is my first attempt at a bus full of people. At like a, a whole collaborative just full of bunch of people. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. So that's the thing. Uh, these, I actually have a whole list of face tutorials in my watch later list. So I was doing some of them. Uh, this face tutorial is real stupid. <laughs> in my opinion, I hate it. It's, you draw a triangle and then you use that triangle as a template. That's the only one that came out good. That one looks derpy. Everyone I don't like, I put a little tongue. <laughs> Look, that's a derp. That's a derp. That's an old lady. <laughs> um, again, I did the uh, fairy with her hair around her neck, but this time it's braided, and that's from the front. Uh, that's a backpack, <laughs> obviously. Uh, what else? This is the same triangle face tutorial. I'm like, maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I did it again, and it still turned out bad. Uh, that's all right. The, I've been sketching with my high-tech Coletto. Uh, I love this pen super much, and uh, I just leave the sketch lines in there because it's a sketchbook. This was done with pastels. I really like the way this came out. <laughs> super love this. It's really hard to see the details of the sky and stuff because the light's so bright, but that was done in cheap $5 pastels. Uh, this is my attempt at drawing Moana. I actually really like the way she came out. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be terrible, but, um, it's not. <laughs> uh, it's not. Uh, this girl's face is too long. <laughs> it really bothers me. Every time I look at her, I'm like, I just want to fix you! <laughs> uh, this guy turned out pretty cool. I like it. It's, I'm like drawing, I feel like I'm, I'm edging towards a style where my faces are too long for really, and I don't know what that is, like his neck and face is too long. Uh, she turned out alright kind of normal and this piece this little sketch here I love this <laughs> I can't believe I did this do you know when you draw something I don't know if you guys know when you draw something and you can't believe you drew that you're like well this happens to me sometimes <laughs> with this it happened I drew it and I was like did I really draw that I really like it <laughs> so um that happened this is a girl from an anime. It's a fan drawing of um, Earl to, to Fairy. 
Uh, it's a really old series about a um, Lydia who... Her name's Lydia. That's the name of that character. <laughs> um, and I really like the way her t she turned out. <laughs> I just want to hug this piece. I'm just like, I love you. Um, so that's pretty much it. I felt like I drew more this, this week than I actually did. I'm going to do some more watercolor pieces. I ordered a watercolor book and a whole bunch of pastels because I like working with them. So that's what I ordered. You'll see that next week. Um, and... I think I might have gotten a Cintiq for Christmas, so <laughs> that's fun. Um, <laughs> I'll see you guys next week for more Learn to Draw Weekly. Uh, hopefully there will be more digital stuff because I got real, real, real messed up with that Intuos and I gave up. <laughs> I gave up. So uh, let's see how it goes. My drawings and paper are definitely 200% better than Intuos, so... All right, I'll see you guys next week. I'm done rambling. Uh, if you want to check out my gaming channel, the link's in the description below. I also have a Twitter where I post plays of the game and interesting art that I like. This will probably go up on my Twitter page. Uh, the link's in the description below. And I also have a Redbubble shop that's really small, and I take some of the stuff down sometimes. I made that Redbubble shop because I ordered some things for Christmas that I designed myself because I thought it would be cool. And they're up there if you want to buy them. <laughs> just I just put them up there for everybody. <laughs> if you like it, go uh, go check out. I will see you guys next week for more Learn to Draw Weekly. Bye.